Welcome back. Continuing our discussion of reversing tools, we will now look at another debugger known as Ali Debugger. Ali Debugger, you can do a web search or you can go to Ali, O L L Y D B G dot D E, and that should take you to the Ali Debug website. A couple of nice features of Ali Debug. It's also a very popular one, just as Immunity is popular. And you'll notice from their website, there is a 64-bit version that they are working on. That might be out by the time you're watching this video, so check for that. It runs easily from within Linux. You could also run it in Windows, I suppose. So go to the website, click on Download, and then scroll down, and you will find the latest version. Go ahead and click on that. There's no registration as there was with Immunity. And once that's been downloaded, you can go and click and then extract it. A couple of things to note. This does not have any sort of directory. Often zip files have directories inside of them. This does not have that. So when you click on extract, take note of that. Where do you want to put it? Well, you want to put it under that dot wine directory. So you may have to enter that in the location bar. So say dot wine slash drive C and then program files x86 and then Ali DBG might be a good place to put it and go ahead and say extract. You might have to create that folder. Go ahead and replace these quit. And just as was the case with Immunity, in order to run OliDBG more easily from Linux, you can create a link and put it on your desktop. So I will go ahead and browse on over to the .wine directory. You might have to click on Show Hidden Files to get there. And here's my dot wine, double click, drive C, double click into Ali DBG, right click on Ali DBG, click on make link, and once again, drag that link out to your desktop. When you run Ali Debugger, you will notice that it looks extremely similar to Immunity. There's a reason for that. They have a common code base. Open OliDB in itself, and here you see the same four windows. In this window, we have disassembled code. In this window, we have those high speed memory locations known as registers. Down here, we have the hex dump of memory locations, and over here, we have that ever important stack. So if you want to change the appearance, it's easily done by selecting Options, Appearance, and then you can go to Fonts and tell it what font you would like. So for example, I can say Font 6, and I can also change what that font is. I can click on Change and say, I don't like this font, it's too small. I want a Courier font. And I will go ahead and make that a 16 point font to make things a little bit easier. And then I can make that the default. Click on defaults and I say font six, that's the default. It doesn't immediately appear, but I can right click on any window and say appearance, font this or font all. I can say font all should be font six. And now things have gotten a lot larger. You can also adjust the color scheme if this is not to your liking. We'll take another short break and we'll return with some more reversing tools.